The Independent Council investigating the massive presidential corruption scandal called in two key figures on Sunday. Although the duo has been questioned before, this time they brought back in as suspects in forming an unofficial government blacklist of cultural figures. Kwon Jang Ho has our top story. As the Independent Council continues its probe into various aspects of the presidential corruption scandal, it's moving forward with its investigation into possible attempts to cover up the so-called cultural blacklist. Key figures who had previously testified as witnesses were called back on Sunday, this time as suspects. Kim jong duk the former culture minister, and Kim sang yul a former presidential secretary for education and culture, arrived at the Independent Council's office on Sunday to be questioned on their involvement in the making and running of the blacklist. The blacklist refers to a secret list of cultural figures that had criticized the President Park's administration and were subsequently denied sponsorship or recommendations. Earlier this week, the Independent Council confirmed the existence of a list, but they were still investigating how it was formed and whether the alleged restrictions were carried out. The former culture minister had denied any knowledge of such a list at a parliamentary hearing last month, but his claims have come under suspicion and he has now been charged with perjury. The Independent Council will also consider whether to issue an arrest warrant for the two figures after Sunday's questioning. Meanwhile, the Council confirmed that the Danish authorities had officially received Korea's request to extradite Chung Yura, the daughter of Chesun Shil, the woman suspected to be at the heart of the country's corruption scandal. Chung, who is currently detained in Denmark, is wanted for questioning on a number of issues, from her and her mother's role in gaining unfair admission to a top university, to her mother's relationship with President Park. Although the council have encouraged Chung to return by her own will, they will continue with the extradition process. But currently, there is no timeline for when that will occur. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.